The West Kelowna Warriors and Merritt Centennials met for the fourth of eight meetings between the two teams on Friday night at Royal LePage Place. Both teams with uh, some chances in the first period, but a first period that was dominated by the Warriors and began the scoring 342 into the opening period. Brennan Nelson centering a pass for Trent Wilson to pick up his sixth goal of the season in front of his mom and dad in the crowd on the Warriors' parents' weekend. Michael Salandris centering a puck back inside of the offensive zone for Nelson, who fed it to the middle, and it's Wilson going to the goal, finishing off on the glove side of Carlos Mezargs. The goal for Wilson is sixth of the year from Nelson and Slandra at 342, gave the Warriors a one to nothing lead. West Kelowna kept pressing as the period went on. Felix Karama, the great chance that went off the post, and on the same sequence, Wilson digs the puck free. Karan down low in front, and it's Cal Hughes who finishes the playoff on the glove side of the goal of Mezarks. 10.57 the time of the goal. Great feed from down low for Karan to spot Hughes in the left circle. He's got his sixth of the year. Karan and Wilson drawing the assists on the goal, and the Warriors in control early, up by a pair of goals in the opening period, and they would add to it as the period went along with just 33 seconds left in the opening frame. Brennan Nelson up the ice on the left wing side, spotting Michael Salandra, who goes to the goal, and Salandra on a breakaway, shorthanded, fakes the shot on the forehand, then goes to the backhand, able to finish off past the blocker side of Carlos Mezarks. The goal for Salandra is seventh of the year, second assist for Nelson of the period on the shorthanded tally that makes it a 3-0 hockey game. And the Warriors in control after 20 minutes, but the second period comes around. And the Centennials finding a way to get momentum back. A big save by Mezargs on a breakaway from Brennan Nelson. Rourke Appleby had to be strong in the Warrior net as well before it's Merritt who's able to get a quick opportunity. Dylan Wagner with a shot that was gloved down by the goaltender and Appleby. Mezargs a good save here on Vigo Nordstrom as the Warriors continue to press with chances at the front of the net. Jack Pridham a good look. Mezarks again able to keep the puck out once more. The Warriors continuing to press toward the front of the net with a missed chance and then a Penalty shot opportunity, shorthanded for Owen Drury, who slowly made his way to the zone. Carlos Mezarks, a big left pad save, and that proved to change the momentum in the hockey game because the Centennials came on on the power play after that, and Kiernan Poulin with a shot from the left faceoff circle at the 18-12 mark of the second period, beating Appleby on the glove side and making the game 3-1. to Poulin is third of the year from Aiden Lindblad and Tyler Wishart on the power play. Makes it a 3-1 hockey game before in the third period. Merritt coming on and they get the game within one. Another power play goal. Jackson Murray on the man advantage. 49 seconds into the third on a puck from Michael Felsing that goes off the post. Murray following up on the rebound. Berries past the blocker side of Appleby. Mezarks draws an assist as well to make it a 3-2 game. Great look for Jackson. Kierkosis that was kicked out before another power play and another goal for Merritt to come back from a 3-0 deficit. Dylan Wagner's fifth of the year at 10-59 on a good passing play from Luke Melnick and Tyler Wishart ties the game 3-3 the score as the game rolled on through the third period and Rorick Appleby acrobatically making a save he jumped out to try and keep a puck out in a scrambling play at the front of the net Appleby able to keep the Warriors at a 3-3 score and a puck that just came through the crease before a great chance for Kiernan Poulin late in overtime that was stopped by Rorick Appleby and the overtime period between the two teams Coming to an end at 3.02 of the overtime frame. Jack Pridham to the front of the net, and Cal Hughes redirects the puck home with his right skating in. Second goal of the game for Hughes. Seventh of the year from Jack Pridham and Zenya Miles. 4-3, West Kelowna gets the win in overtime on Friday night.